first impression, I think, is the first idea you have of a person, usually a pretty good one about what that person's like. A good first impression for me starts by smiling. I think to make a good first impression, you really need to just be yourself. I kind of like try to look nice and like laugh and stuff and be cool. A first impression could be pretty damaging, but it depends if that's all you go on. Um, sometimes people sort of have hidden evil, I guess. I certainly, I certainly do go often by my first vibe. And it's not by how people look or anything, it's just like how it feels, you know, in my belly or something. Probably disliked a lot of people because of the first bad impressions that they've given. Those impressions really stick to you and you sort of think, oh, those aren't the people that I want to be around because of what they said. How important is the first impression to a relationship? I think it's fairly important because you could um, form bad opinions about someone that maybe are not true because their real character hasn't come out. I think it's really important because if someone's a real jerk when you first meet them, um, you're really going to be hesitant to try and get to know them. So it's pretty important to give off a good first impression if you want to build a relationship with people. Um, a, lot of pe a lot of times people have hidden agenda and they just, they mean they want something from you other than friendship. That's why it's best not to judge people by their first impression a lot of times because you never really know what people are thinking in their heads, right? I think first impressions are maybe not that real that you have to give mm -hmm. someone because I know I've met people and instantly disliked them but then once I got to know them they turned out to be a great person. <laughs> there was a photograph on the wall and I saw this woman in the photograph and I knew I would be with her for the rest of my life. I heard all about him from my ex-boyfriend and how wonderful he was and what a cool guy and Ooh. how enlightened and all that. Wow. And then I went up there and there was a whole crowd of people and he was sitting on the floor and I watched him and I thought, what's so cool about this guy? Right? <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty weird to me. <laughs> yes, I think if I hadn't met him again, I would have not pursued it. A friend of mine, we when we first met, we really did not hit it off. Our first impression of each other was really bad and we both didn't like each other. And after a while we got stuck in the same drama group at school and we realized that we were totally wrong. That first impression was totally off balance. I'm fairly shy by nature so I have a tendency to be really quiet when I first meet people and I think that sort of comes off as snobbery like they think I'm really conceited so um, people probably don't have the best first impression of me and like the only way for me to sort of overcome it would just be to hopefully spend more time with them and have them get to know me. But most important to s try to be myself so that I, if it's a bad first impression because it's who I am, not to uh, sort of adjust myself beyond what my own truth is about who I am. So it's, it's hard to judge people by the first time you meet them or certain situations even. You know, sometimes I do judge a book by the cover, but I really try not to let, let that interfere with me getting to know someone. Like, I, I try and always have a little bit of trust that people are inherently good. And the rest of a good first impression is trying to see the other's beauty, like something that I can see that's really, that I like in another person. Because then I think that they can see something that they like in me, and it's kind of an exchange of how we see each other.